Hello, this is Chris Amayanimo, and we are going to review the Razer Kyo Pro against the Logitech C920. And we're doing that intro one more time so you can hear the difference between the Razer microphone, which we used in the intro, versus the Blue Yeti microphone that we normally use. So we want you to take a look at the size difference between the Razer and the Logitech, just in case that might be an issue for the way you have your computer set up. What I want to show you here is the blue light on the Logitech, and when we activate the Razer, the white little dot in the top shows up. That's the difference between the two in terms of knowing that they're active. The Razer also comes with a virtual light software. We're going to show it to you here, but in all honesty, we find it completely useless. So the brightness color change this is the thick this and before we get into the direct comparison with the Logitech one other thing we don't like about the razor is this issue right here basically every single time we restart the computer and restart the razor synapse software we get this message which is basically all our custom settings have been thrown out you have to reset them so you have to go into your computer every single time you restart it go into the synapse and make sure it's using your settings kind of a pain don't know why it doesn't default automatically when it comes back in but it does not so the next comparison we're going to show you are two very short clips it's going to be the logitech and the razor um, with both the video and the audio from each one i'm about two feet away from the Logitech camera, and this is what I sound like when I speak into it. And this is the Razer without any of the Synapse software running, and this is how I sound about two feet away from it. So in conclusion, which one's better? That's a hard pick. The Logitech is $69. The Razer Kylo Pro is $129 as we just purchased it, purchased it on Amazon. The value here um, isn't fantastic. The Razer software with Synapse is the only reason I'm going to keep the Razer and put away the Logitech. But if you were not going to use the software, if you didn't want to deal with constantly opening that software up every time you turn your computer on and making sure your settings are set right, um, or doing it afterwards just beforehand, it's probably not worth it for you for the doubling in price. So my recommendations are get the Razer if this software uh, synapse would make a difference for you. It does for me. I like to be able to see what I'm going to look like um, before trying to mess with things in the software. Um, using amateur tools, you never know if you're going to be able to compensate for low light, etc. Whereas the software built right into the camera is excellent. So I um, recommend get the Razer if you want the synapse software. Otherwise, stick with the Logitech. It's a much better deal. Thank you so much for watching this video and please subscribe and like this video. Thanks.